It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a couple teams searching for their first Super Bowl. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers, next on Madden Football. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both and at the end of many games. This guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. Now they'll throw with Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. 
And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. To the air, Allen. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Austin Johnson gets the sack defensively. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, and this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Caught by Allen. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Now a second down and six. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. My rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? They start the drive with Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the 27, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Allen going to throw. He'll dump this off to Cook. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second down at six now from the 42. To throw, it's Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 42. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now Allen again. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. And C.D., we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact and the next-gen stats. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They started on the ground with Eckler. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Herbert. And this all oh, incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Herbert. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Naheem Hines. Called a 
it a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Allen. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. Umpire threw the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Cook following the penalty, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. Nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Next to receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Herbert off of play action. Going up top. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 15. 
And they'll start on the ground with Hines. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Allen to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third down and three. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Now it's Hines. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So first and 10 now from the 30. Allen off the play fake. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Kenneth Murray leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. And the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. After the sack on first down, Allen over the middle complete. That's Hines. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. Now Allen. Going deep for Diggs. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Allen. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. 
A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bills lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now they're a little further behind the eight ball after the interception led to the touchdown. So a two-score deficit here, first and 10. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Johnston. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running on first down, Eckler. Oh, nice move. <laughs> 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw here, Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnston. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 26. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. Down to the 25. Brought down by Ed Oliver. Early down stuffs have put this offense in a precarious position. You know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now it's Herbert. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. The Chargers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he? Picking up that first down. Some have described him as a diamond in the rough with a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Cook again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Allen now looks to throw. 
And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 44-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense has other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. This is caught. It's Hardy. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 12-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To the air, Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Play action. Now it's Allen. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, being able to throw the ball to the fullback position. No one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least for the time being? I think, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Operating from the gun, Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up.
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, and instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, while we look at the defense, they came in prepared. Had excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away at almost every turn. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, Cook gets by him at the 25. 61 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. They run it again with Cook. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And now they'll throw with Allen. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Bass on for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath with those guys on the defensive side of the ball. <laughs> They've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Blitz coming and down he goes. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the sack. But just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. And this came from the interior of the defensive line, and these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot, and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Herbert now. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 36. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Second and five. Looking to throw. Herbert, give him another one right back to Allen. And he's going to get this down near the 25. <laughs> On first down, Justin Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. The Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Here's Herbert. That's caught at the one. Now another timeout called for by the offense, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
Try to punch it in with Eckler. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Now the scoreboard still does not look good, but at least they polished off that goose egg. Yeah, they've been thoroughly outplayed in the first half. Finally, a little spark of life. It's going to take a lot more to add to that flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one. Point after here coming up. He's got it, and that makes our score 24 to 7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And a big part of their success on the scoreboard is their success in the running game. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. 
Justin Herbert and the rest of the Charger offense set to take over once more. And Charles, I mean, look, you don't bench a starter of his caliber, but four first-half interceptions, how do you handle it from here? Well, the easy thing is right away you try and run the football, take some pressure off of him, but you know the defense understands that as well. My second thing is give him throws that are safer, throws that he's confident in, the ones that he likes to make, and that way he try and get his confidence back up. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Caught by Allen. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it, and they've run it well here to start the second half. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A shotgun snap for Herbert. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down, Eckler. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Herbert operating from the red zone. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Herbert. This is caught. Touchdown! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. 
That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Allen Slow going to be caught by Davis. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Six yards left on second down. This is Hines. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 41-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there on second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 
Again, it's Cook. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first down, Allen going right back to Knox and again a completion. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Working with a second and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. And the Bills are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis from four yards out. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Herbert. His throw incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, 
you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Williams brings it in. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Again, Herbert for Keenan Allen. That's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and ten. Up the middle with Eckler. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Now it's Herbert. He finds his man complete. That's Johnston. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 32-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run good for two here, second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Oh, what a move. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. And the last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Let's go. 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Eckler now between the tackles. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three corners. No reason to lighten up now. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Herbert now. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Gerald Everett, a five yard touchdown. And the Chargers have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen out to the left. He's got his tight end, Knox. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Hines. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Play action. Now it's Allen. That's, and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. 
And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offense can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the 45 on second down, Allen. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 34-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll find Gabriel Davis. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The offense on third down tonight, they've been tough to stop. Eight for ten so far. This time they face a third and two. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. To throw, it's Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Throwing on first down is Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a dump off here complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. That's caught, and it's Eckler again. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. Here's Herbert. He finds his man complete. That's Johnston. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. To throw again on second down. Herbert throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. This is caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there. 26 yards and the Chargers get a bit closer a nice connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there extra point right down the middle and the lead is trimmed down to 10 a drive that time of six plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bills ready to take over. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake, Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. So he stopped for no gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, he finds Hardy on the slant. Five yards, now it's third and five. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Allen gonna throw. He goes once again right back to Hardy. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A timeout here for an injured player. And definitely not what this defense wants to see. It's Khalil Mack who's in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And just a yard to go here on second down. Allen to throw once more. That swung out wide to Harris. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. From midfield, here's Allen. Buying time to his left. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. Well, time to see what this offense has left in the tank. Well, 
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle complete, it's Johnston. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Herbert on first down now. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Herbert. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Herbert going to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnston. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him too. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert. Steps away to his left. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Throwing Herbert. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Now Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles' defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. 
Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them.